as dawn broke, Anzac services began across the country. They'd set their alarms really early so they could pay their respects and remember the sacrifices made in war. But it all began many hours earlier for a group of kids in Adelaide. It's 6 p.m. the night before Anzac Day and kids from right across South Australia, Army cadets, SES cadets, Navy, Air Force, Scouts, Girl Guides and kids from lots of other organisations have gathered here at the state's war memorial. They're taking part in an all-night vigil. 300 kids will take it in turns to march around and guard the historic site before the dawn service begins at 6am. It's their chance to have their own Anzac service, especially for kids. It's really important because it shows our appreciation to the elderly people and to commemorate the people that we don't know but they have fought in war for us. You just imagine like what it'd be like if you were out there type thing, if you were like running for your life on the beach of Gallipoli and that kind of stuff and just seeing your mates being shot down either side of you, it's, it's pretty upsetting. And then you just think about um, like celebrating what they did for our country and that kind of stuff, so it's really special. Uh, still is important to the living in Ghana people today. Thank you. And the whole event is organised by kids. At 8pm they hold a special ceremony which the governor attends, but it's the kids who run it. Each group lays their headgear at the base of the memorial and kids representing different cultures lay tokens of appreciation. It's a chance to wear badges they've earned and also the war medals of relatives, like 11-year-old Megan who wore her grandpa's medals. How important is it for you to wear those medals? How does it feel? It feels great, like it makes me feel like I'm honouring the people who went to war and my grandpa. Even the snacks were traditional. Connor, what are you eating? An Anzac biscuit on Anzac Day. It was the wives, mums and girlfriends of the soldiers all those years ago who came up with the nutritional, long-lasting snack and sent them off to the war zones. How many have you eaten so far? Uh, three. Might be a few more ahead yes, tonight. Yes, I think so. As well as being a chance to learn more about the Anzacs, the kids get to stay up all night in the middle of the city and make new friends. And it was kids who came up with the idea. Well, basically, quite a few years ago, before this started, the day before Anzac Day, the memorial was um, vandalised. And so the youth was blamed. And so to prove that the youth wasn't like that, we started this up. Some kids are doing it for the third year in a row, like Mitch. I might have to come back and see how you've gone. Oh yeah, you have to get yourself out of your nice warm bed. <laughs> Taking that as a dare from Mitch, I made my way back at 4am and they were still marching. Have either of you had any sleep? I haven't. <laughs> I have. Yeah, I went to bed for three and a half hours. And Mitch, how have you gone? Oh, I'm stuffed. I'm absolutely stuffed. And did you enjoy the marching? Yeah, it was okay. Until it rained. <laughs> but despite the tired eyes and damp uniforms, everyone agreed it was a great experience. I think it's a lot of fun if you want to do something to honour the troops who have done so much for us. And as 6am came and the last shift finished their marching, many were already making plans to return next year. <laughs>